homies what is happening in the hizzle? Yeah, that that's a thing now. Ho shizzle. Um, I am Bleaker, and we are back with another episode of the Journey to the Enchanted Crest RPG, an open world adventure. In this episode, we are going to get into this locksmith's house, and we're going to complete one of the side quests to get him a get well potion. I think is what everybody's saying I need to do, because I already did one of them, which was um, in an earlier episode, I believe it was episode 9, when I did the water layer. So I'm actually just going to go tell, show you guys where that's at, because I know that's been a popular request. I believe a... Katie Lee might have requested this, so we're going to do that for people's sake here. And I also wanted to let you know that when the um, when I record the final episode and do the finale and have all that episode and have that all done, I'm actually planning on doing like a user request, ver a user request like little sub series of this. So if you guys have like very specific portions that you want done, redone over, or want very specific things for me to go over, I'll do a couple episodes of that. Uh, as to help you guys out. So if you want anything spe very specific done, let me know. I'll try and do multiple of them at once. Before we go here, though, do I want anything? I do. What do I have here? I have the skeleton rapier. Uh, oh, cool. Nice. I'm just going to quick raid his house, though. Yay, bunk beds! So I've been working on this series, and I just finally got a notification from Facebook that my one of my videos, episode 7, has done better than my last month of videos, and that was pretty cool. I didn't even know Facebook would notify on and stuff like that. So thank you all for your support. This has honestly turned out to be the best series that I have ever done, along with probably the greatest map I have ever done. And I've done quite a few maps. I mean, if you look back in my playlists and stuff there is quite a few maps but i need to get back on track here because i have a lot to cover in a short period of time locksmith finally here uh oh hello mr locksmith could you give me the key to enter the crow's keep i will pay handsomely <coughs> cough cough <laughs> Can't you see I'm very sick, sir? If you can get me some ingredients so I can make my health potion, then I will trade you for the key to enter Crow's Keep. Cough, cough. I do believe the ingredients lie in two separate locations. One is in the water shrine just outside Market Town. The other is in a sand mound. Just follow the orange trees behind town. If you find the two ingredients, we have a trade. Okay. Um, I need to sell something here. There we go. You can actually trade off these glass bottles for currency, which I'm going to show you guys in right here before I go teleporting and otherwise gallivanting off. This is one of the medicine ingredients. This is from the water layer. It's technically called the water layer. Why it's being called the water shrine, I don't know. But I'll go to the water shrine first, water layer. This guy will buy bottles. Fun fact. Thank you, sir. Deposit my goods. Excellent. So market town i suppose so this is where the water shrine slash water temple slash water layer is all located we're going to tp to market town and i've often been telling people in reference to sullivan's house this right here is sullivan's house right here now the water shrine the water layer is actually over this way after i kill some demon demony knights I wonder how many shots these guys take. One. One shot. Two. Three. Have I lost track of a guy? Ah! Here he comes. He's coming back. They take four shots. Now the water shrine. That's kind of an inconsistency, actually. Water shrine, water layer. It should just be the... Yes, this is the area. The water layer. So if you guys to get the first ingredient, which is actually, um, if I can find a, I'll just teleport to Breeze Town because I know right where that chest is at. From that, I believe I did this in episode nine. So if you want, you can reference that episode. You actually get this, a bit of glowstone or a medicine ingredient. Oh, 
also off camera I purchased some pen tape. Fun fact. Now we need to find the second arrow. Back when I was beta testing this map, there's an orange tree. Back when I was beta testing this map, this wasn't actually a required area to go through, uh, but that just changed in this last episode. So to all those who I said that the water layer was a side quest, I do apologize, that was my bad. I was playing with mildly out of date information, I suppose. These both were just uh, side areas. I never even visited the um, first one. Oh, there's no water. Okay. I need new pants. I need shoes. I accidentally delete. I accidentally got rid of my shoes. I sold my shoes. Let's make a quick buck. Make a quick buck. I'm like Forrest. I'm like Forrest. Forrest Gump ran right out of my shoes. Mama always did say, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Which I find to be highly inaccurate, because if you buy, like, just the... Okay, we're definitely heading the right... There's the mound. Which I find to be highly inaccurate, because if you just purchase, like, all one type of chocolate... Like, the big thing up here is mint meltaways. If you purchase a box of mint meltaways, it'd be weird if you didn't get mint meltaways. And you know you are going to get mint meltaways. Anything over here? So that is a lie for us. Ooh, stuff. Stuff potion. I might actually keep that on me. Yeah, I've been trying to prep myself for the last boss fight because it's kind of a pain in the butt. But that's besides the point. But anyways, back to chocolate. Now, I'm not a big chocolate fan. Suppose. Oh! <laughs> oh, that scared me. But I found that to be highly inaccurate. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. If you pay for just like one box of chocolate, like one type, you know exactly what you're going to get. Unless you get one of those assorted craps. Oh, that looks conspicuous. Oh! Just die already. you get like one of those assorted box of chocolates, in which case Forrest Gump is right. But he really generalized there, which rather offended me. Ooh. Ooh. I might actually sell those. Actually, I do kind of need new pants. Okay, there. New pants. We should be coming across the best armor in the game here in the next dungeon or two. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Mick warned me about this. Um, shoot, 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 OP threat? Hold the phone. Okay. Now I'm stuck. Which actually takes a lot at this point. OP, OP drops. QS. Uh, give me one moment here. Okay. Now this, I had to pull up an email that I had with the map creator, or a Planet Minecraft message that I had with the map creator. So the premise behind this puzzle is, each one of these letters, as you'll notice here, they only go up to N. Now the problem is, here you have letters that are beyond the letter N, but there's only one letter in each one of those um, random groups of letters that is between... A and N. So on this first one, you have O, P, D, R, U, and X. D is the first lever that you would pull in this case. The next one, which is Q, S, V, R, X, and E. E is the only letter. So the only letter in between these. You would pull the letter E. 
On the next one, you have the Z, G, U, W, Y, O. G is the only letter that is between A and N on that one, so you pull G. The next one, I, P, S, W, T, Z. I is the last one. So basically, the premise behind this is you have all the random letters, but only one of the letters, but each one, but only like, you kind of get what I'm doing here. I'm having a really tough time explaining it. Basically, the combination is D, E, G, and I. Um, kind of the premise behind it is, um, according to the map creator, and this is the exact email. Um, right, one quest. Doo -doo -doo. I added a new quest where you speak to the locksmith in Breeztown. The locksmith will ask you to find two potion ingredients. You have ar you have already gotten one from the water layer. The other is in the sand mound behind Breeztown. Speak to the locksmith first, though, before you go to the sand mound. In the sand mound, there is a puzzle. Spoiler, all levers are marked A through I. So look at the line of letters from the opposite wall and pick out the letter that corresponds to that lever. For example, if you look at the first row of letters, there might be, as an example, only J, K, L, and A, M, O. Well, the correct one would be A because there's no lever marked with the letters J, K, L, M, or O. So lever A would be switched. So lever A would be switched. I hope that I explained it well. Those are the map creator's exact words for this. Okay, so... Now this is behind lock and key. Or a lock. Um, oh, here we go. Hmm. So that's that. That was the first time I've ever even seen that puzzle. So. So. Hardcore parkour. Ja. Ja. Nice. I win. <coughs> Owie. And broke my legs at the same time. Best Minecrafter ever. Nice. Okay, two medicine ingredients for a get well potion. Take this rare potion ingredient. There is one who seeks it. Okay, if you say so. Oh yeah, open the layout. Allow to cheat. There we go. And now we have the key. We can get the key to Crow's place. Crow's his hopping in house. So here's your things. Oh, and you acquire money, you greedy dingus. I hate you. I really do. Fortunately, though, Mick was kind of nice there with giving us uh, the bottles up there because that should equate to pretty close to the exact amount. Because, like I said, you can trade those away. Uh, yeah, dude. Shut up. Uh, Shut up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Alrighty. And that will be the end of our episode here. Because now we would be heading to Crow's... Uh, keep. Crow's Keep. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for your support thus far. I am very appreciative of all the wonderful messages I've been getting, all the nice comments that we've had going, all the communication that we've been having back and forth. I love it all. You guys are great. So when we come back in the next episode, I am actually going to walk you through Crow's Keep, which we can do, if I remember correctly, in about one episode. It'll be like a 15-minute deal. Let me look through here. Hmm. I don't remember this. remember this part. Well, um, gotcha. Now I understand. Oh, it's a time deal. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing this. We're doing this. Come on, baby. Get there. I think I did it. been up here before. Ah, current screen stuff. Okay, cool. Um, Alright guys, thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. When we come back next time, we're heading over to that place right there, Crow's Keep. But until then, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.